Hey everyone, topic number two is something vitally important, both for you and your business and if you are a leader of other folks. And that is, hey, everybody's coming in hot. Everybody's you know coming in and having an exciting beginning of the year. Either you are closing business because you did the work like Omar talked about in Q4, or you're coming in hot with big, big goals and you're doing 100 dials a day and you know all those things that we all fall into in early January. But what I wanted to ask Omar, because he is remarkably successful, number one agent for a long, long time. How does he keep the fire? How do you stay excited in July and August, Omar? That's what I want to talk about in episode number two. Yeah, well, staying motivated is, uh, is definitely the key. Um, obviously, you have to have something driven by that motivation, though. Like, there has to be something that you want to accomplish. Uh, your goals obviously feed your future, mm -hmm. uh, but having quarter goals for me is kind of the key. Yeah. You know, I, I took what you said earlier and I implemented it immediately. And I always did yearly goals and I would, you know, break them down monthly. And now it's like, okay, every three months now. So this right. is kind of the avenue of where you want to go. Like everybody's going to start off great, you know, in January. And if you don't, it's okay. But how to maintain the motivation that you have right now in January and then come July and summer when everyone's going places, they're going here, they're going there, you know, summer's happening. Everyone wants to leave and not work because they want to spend the money they made in the first and second quarter. Yeah. That's, that's everybody. But the part is, is how bad do you want to succeed and what do you want the end result to be? This is what you have to focus on because you can shoot out the gate and make a couple hundred thousand dollars and you can call it good. Mm -hmm. But imagine if you took that motivation for the next two quarters, you're going to sit there at half a million bucks or whoever I'm talking to it could be 250. It could be hundred to 150. It could be hundred to 200. It doesn't matter. Or zero. You're just, just getting started and you want to get to a hundred thousand dollars. So my whole thing is, is what motivates you? What drives you? If it's family, if it's, if it's the nice car, if it's a rental property, because this is one thing I'll, I'll tell you guys, everybody has a different measure of motivation. Mm -hmm. Okay on what they want to accomplish for, for you and I, we want more doors. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's my whole goal. And that's it. I want to take commission checks and roll it into more houses that we can just keep. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll figure out different ways and I'll push, put myself at the edge to try to get more doors. Okay. Other people, maybe they're not at that, at, at that step yet. And maybe for them, their motivation and what drives them is going to be, I want a new car and it's okay because they drove themselves to get to that car. But then when they hit that accomplishment, they're like, okay, now what's next? Mm -hmm. So it's everybody has a different level. Yeah. And, and what I saw, like literally how the career happened for me is that motive, that continued motivation of what's next. You want to have something that you're, you're stretching for, not something that is um, like, okay, I made it and now I'm going to rest a little bit and, and not be as aggressive in this and that. But for me is there has to be mile markers. Yeah. You know, there's mile markers when you're driving. Why, why couldn't there be mile, mar mile markers in your path of career for your first year? And now my mile markers are every three, three months, every quarter because of you, Michael. So I, I like that. Mm -hmm. And you just got to get driven by your goals. And what do you want out of this career? Yeah. Whatever career that you're in. Yeah, I, you know, again, I, I, lucky enough to be have been in a full com commission or a commission sales job for the last 20 years. And literally my career was you could be fired for lack of performance after 90 days, right? You had one bad quarter. It didn't happen all the time, but we did. We'd, we'd fire people that didn't perform after 90 days. Usually they got one bad quarter. And if they had two, they were gone. It's like, no question. You had two bad quarters in a row. You're don't, bother, don't bother showing up, right? That's, that's the cutthroat world that I lived in. So I have lived by a 13 week schedule forever. And the, the, there's a couple of important subtleties in there. I just want to hit, you've hit them, but I just want to hit them again. Please. One is you need to break it. You need to break down your yearly goals into 90 day segments, three months, 13 weeks, yep. whatever is important to you. But more yep. importantly, you need to break that down into weekly goals, right? So for example, um, real estate agents, right? Especially the first year folks. Well, go back and watch some of Omar's playlist. He talks about how to start and do all those things, but it really gets to, you got to talk to more people. So how do you do that? Well, 
sit down somewhere, network with folks, go figure it out. But worst case, go stand in front of a grocery store. Go, go, you know, go get uncomfortable. Because again, how do you, how do you talk to, I don't know, maybe your goal, a new person. This is a great goal that I would do if I was new. I want to talk to one new person a day. So what do you do? Well, you talk to your friends and your family and you're into day 10 or 12 and you're like, oh, I'm cool. But then it's like, shit, I don't know any more people or nobody's calling me back or go ahead. I want to like, you just gave me that, an idea for the new people. You were going with the whole grocery store. Yeah. What does everybody need right now? Everybody needs masks. Yeah, exactly. So have your little brand or just give away masks with your car. Here you go. They're brand new. Yeah. Oh, okay. Get and, and you may not get their information, but you might actually have somebody call you because you provided a need for somebody. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's, yeah. And I wrote that down because not I'll probably end up doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> yeah, but that's the key is you need to break down, like if you want to sell a lot of houses, what do you how you, this whether you're a wholesaler, an agent, an investor, whatever you want to do, you want to hit X number. What you have to do is you have to back that down all the way to the beginning. And for most people, it means talk to more people. That's yep. what it, that's where it starts. And then there's a conversion factor. And then there's a, a you know, a, a referral factor and, and all of that. But most people have to talk to more people. So set up a daily goal and look at yourself every Friday or Sunday or Monday or Wednesday, whatever day is important to you and have an accountability partner, just like we talked about in episode one and tell them how you did. And if you're good, the first 13 weeks, it'll be one a day. This is what should happen. This is why my teams always killed it. We would all do one in this example, the first 13 weeks. And then you know what? We would up it to one and a half or two. And again, think about what we're doing, right? We haven't changed our yearly goal at all. But what we're doing is we broke down Q1, we built momentum, we built habits, and we kept getting uncomfortable. And magic happens when you blow out your numbers. Magic happens when you blow out your numbers. I'm writing this down, Michael, just because it's awesome. Um, but how about this? I'm taking this from you. But magic happens when you become uncomfortable. Exactly. That's where the magic happens is when you're uncomfortable. You, you actually can get, this is why the 75 day hard challenge it works for me, is if you can get comfortable being uncomfortable, you've, you've, you're, mo you're more than halfway there. Oh, yes, that's good. That is good. If you guys aren't writing notes, you guys need to, because I have a whole bunch of notes already, and I'm sure you guys are, but yeah. But that's the key. And that's, and that is how we kept blowing out our numbers. That's how I took a product from zero, zero revenue to a hundred million in just over two years. That's insane, Michael. Yeah, it's, it's very rarely done, right? And that's because we started with, we had a yearly goal. I think year one was like 32 million or 28 or whatever it was. We started understanding what that meant for Q1. We hit the targets for Q1. We never changed the end goal, but we ramped up being uncomfortable. We no longer accepted one new contact in the early example. It's like, okay, seven out of nine of you hit that goal. Great. Now we're going to up it. Because you've already proven to me you could do one. Now let's go do one and a half or two. And by mm -hmm. the time we get to Q4, we're reaping the rewards from the first three quarters. But oh, by the way, I know I'm going to have quota in Q1. So you know what? We go to four in Q4. Oh, right? Your next year, you're already starting. Boom. That's, that's how you do it, man. Yeah. So whether you're a real estate wholesaler, whatever it is, start breaking it down into the, into that first chunk. Most people it's talking to, you know, owners, sellers, friends, family, whatever it is. And, uh, and that's how you keep the fire. That's how you do it for me. Cause I never, I never, I never lit up. That's the key is I never let up. Right. I never had a summer vacation. I never had, I took a vacation. Don't get me wrong, but I had to deliver the numbers. Right. If I was a week in Mexico or whatever, an Alaska cruise, I either had to hit it the week before, which is usually what I would do to cover me, or I would hit some the week before and some the week after. Right. It, the numbers don't stop. You don't give yourself a break. No. Yeah. Freaking awesome. And you know what? Your whole one contact or one and a half contacts or two contacts a day. Yeah. That's that's strong. My one of my bands broke uh -oh. and, and, it, and the band that the band it said it said on the band one contract a day there you go 
one contract a day and that's 365 contracts. I mean, obviously that's super, it's, yeah. it's, it's a challenge to get one contract a day, yeah. but at least you're seeing it every day and you're like, Hey, you know what? I, I, I got this. And your one contract could be, Hey, it could be it, it, us in the real estate field. It could be, Hey, I, I want to lower the price on a few listings that are super overpriced. That'll allow me to get a contract exactly. or go out and talk to people. I, I like the, the talk to people aspect of it. Uh, Cause this is a touch. This yeah, is a touch. It's a, business. it's a people business. I mean, that's what people, even if you're an investor, wholesaler, flipper, uh, landlord, lender, you're, you're a, it's a people business, man. So yeah, the big deal for me to keep the fire is never let up. I, I think, I think we said it both earlier. Get, what you want to become is comfortable at being uncomfortable. That's, that's the magic in all of this. That's, in, that's that right there, Michael, is a quote. Be I like com- it. Comfortable. <laughs> yep. In the uncomfortable. There you go. Well, cool, man. Any closing thoughts on this one? Because this one's been a lot of fun for me. It's a particular passion. No, it, it, this one, this one's good. Closing thoughts. Um, I would say, you know what? Be very clear on what you want. Be clear on what you want. Have a goal in place, and don't stop until you hit it. And then when you hit it, create another one. You got it. Like you, you, you what you want to do is you want to have small goals every quarter because this is it's easily attainable. If you say you want to make a million dollars. How are you going to do it? Yeah. That means you got to break it down in quarters, exactly. right? Yep. So it's 250,000 in your first quarter. How are you going to break it down? Now divide it by three. So then now you know what you're going to be needing to make every single month. Yep. And then divide it by four, which is four weeks in a month. And then and you can reverse engineer it. So this way you can see, damn, I am not on track or yes, I'm on track. And this is what I need to get there. So whatever it is, break it down, reverse engineer it. And, um, and that's something that will motivate you because now you're, you're, you're waking up for a purpose. I got to hit those numbers. I got to do this. I have to be able to call people because otherwise I won't hit that number. So you got it. Yeah, that's all. I mean, that's how we break it down and magic. That's what works. Thanks buddy. You're welcome. Thanks guys.